Miller portrays high school student Dave Karofsky on the popular Fox series Glee. His character, there he is, was introduced as a bullying jock who tormented gay classmate Kurt. But fans of Glee have since learned that his homophobia was perhaps fueled by his own inner turmoil. Take a look at this. You are nothing but a scared little boy who can't handle how extraordinarily ordinary you are. Hey, Karofsky. Nick? You guys hanging out for Valentine's Day? No, no, we, we used to go to the same school. We just bumped into each other. That's exactly what it looked like. I gotta go. It's terrible. I'm losing my mind, losing my mind, losing control. Oh, oh, oh. You wanna go? Goodness. Max Adler is with me now. Also joining us, Zach Tume. He struggled with coming out of the closet in high school. He himself, captain of the swim team. I'm going to start with Max, though. And Max, t tell us uh, your character survived the suicide attempt last night? Uh, thankfully, he does survive. Yes, his father finds him in time, um, finds him hanging, and, and resuscitates him and takes him to the hospital. It's and, a very and he powerful, is saved. intense, and, and reflective of something that really goes on in high schools. Yeah, it really does mirror what's happening now. It, it, to me, it's it's an epidemic and it's it's a disease. You know, what's what's happening is that I feel a lot of people aren't talking about it and are kind of afraid to discuss it. And I know school districts have told their teachers not to talk about it. You can't say the word gay. You can't teach about homosexual poets or authors. Certain school districts. And yeah. Certain school districts. Yeah. And and I just feel like yeah, it, it, what's happening is that there's this belief that if if you're gay, you're doing something wrong. And which in turn leads the bullies or the antagonists to believe that what they're doing in bullying is right because you know w that they're they're living in this this normal life. But to me, it, there is no normal. I mean, everyone is is an individual, and everyone needs to express themselves. So, so if you as an actor, you're grateful to be able to tell this story. Yep. Incredibly yep. grateful. I couldn't have asked for a better role. And Zach, you're living this story. <laughs> is this kind of storytelling helping? Do you think young people? I definitely think it's helping. The publicizing the struggles that gay teens go through um, every day is uh, very helpful to uh, every teen who watches it and every teen who, teen who hears about it and the parents who hear about it. It just uh, it makes it known that there are so many issues um, behind being uh, lesbian, gay, bisexual, or transgender uh, besides just the sexuality itself. Right, right. Let, let's keep looking at some of the uh, footage from the show. Now, after the failed suicide attempt by Max's character, his gay nemesis, we would call him, but, but also not no longer your, his, his friend, his that, object that of affection. Yes. Right. He becomes, he becomes yeah. object of his affection. Kurt actually comes to your rescue a bit, right? So let, let's watch that. Why would you have the way I've treated you? It's okay. No, it's not okay. It's like you said on Valentine's Day. I made your life a living hell for months. But when the same thing happened to me, I couldn't even take it for a week. I suppose a best friend telling me he never wants to talk to me again. My mom telling me that I have a disease. <laughs> Maybe I can be cured. Oh, I don't know what to do. Now, uh, Max, the actor that plays Kurt, Chris Colfer, he himself has probably been through these kinds of struggles in high school. Is this, this must be a very powerful thing for him to represent. It is, and, and also to some of our writers and producers. Are, uh, are you going out with them? Are you guys sort of making an effort to go out and raise awareness and making oh, it yes, sort of systematic? No. Not, not just telling the story, but actually getting out on shows like this and talking about it? Correct, yeah, we, and we've, we've all done It Gets Better videos, uh, you know, the Trevor Project events. I have other charity work with City Hearts, where it's, it's getting underprivileged kids uh, into the arts and out of the streets. I work with Muscular Dystrophy Association, and, and by doing all these, I get to talk to a lot of the people and, and hear a lot of their stories and see their messages, and it becomes very real. Well, speaking of stories, Zach, Zach I don't know your story. Can you tell us to what extent you've had to deal with these sorts of things? 
Well, it, it ranges from a, very, a variety of sources. It can, it can come from media, it can come from uh, social normatives, uh, it can come from parents, it can come from peers. And uh, I, I've had experiences ranging from what some people would call simple name calling uh, all the way up to uh, sexual assault. And these, uh, these experiences are very detrimental to the, obviously, to uh, any teen who is, going, who is in high school and no one wants to be called names or uh, assaulted or anything in between. Zach, do you, Zach do you, other, than, other than people like Max raising awareness about these things, do you have anything you would say to a young person who's dealing with these sorts of issues? Any, any sort of you know, specifics they can do to get support? Uh, there is an organization that, I, that helped me out a lot called the Gay Straight Alliance Network. Uh, what they do is their, their, their slogan is, uh, or pertains to youth empowerment, LGBT youth empowerment. Uh, and as soon as you get involved with that organization, there's so much, there's so much family uh, or family atmosphere within it that um, it's, it becomes so easy for someone to gain confidence in oneself. And there's other uh, organizations like the Trevor Project and uh, uh, Gay Lesbian Street Education Network and so on. Excellent.